The Redmi K20 Pro come with a 6.39 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED screen of 2340 by 1080p resolution. It has an aspect ratio of 19.5 by 9 and 91% screen to body ratio. The display also houses an in-screen fingerprint sensor. Powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 processor with Adreno 640 GPU, the Redmi K20 Pro also comes with Game Turbo 2.0 which is also said to optimize the handset for better gaming experience. On the imaging front, the Redmi K20 Pro has a triple rear camera setup that includes a 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 camera with a 1.75 aperture, an 8 megapixel telephoto sensor with 2.4 aperture, and a 13 megapixel wide angle sensor with 2.5 aperture. For selfie lovers, there is a 20 megapixel sensor housed in a pop up setup with a wide angle mode. The front camera is claimed to pop out in 0.8 seconds. Overall, it's not a bad phone at all. Xiaomi has just announced the Xiaomi Mi 9 SE, a compact version of the Xiaomi Mi 9, which takes some of the impressive features of the affordable smartphone, lowers a few specs, and slashes the price tag. Like the Xiaomi Mi 9, the Mi 9 SE has three lens camera setup, with a 48 megapixel main sensor, 13 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, and 8 megapixel telephoto snapper. These cameras have the same lenses but slightly lower megapixel counts to Mi 9. The Mi 9 SE has a 5.97 inch AMOLED display, which is slightly reduced in size from Mi 9, and also has a marginally smaller 3070 mAh battery. You are also getting a weaker chipset in the Snapdragon 712 instead of a Snapdragon 855, but those are the main downgrades. Xiaomi Mi 9 SE turned out to be a fine smartphone. It costs less but it still has almost all the flagship features. The phone has a good screen, powerful hardware and the same main camera. <music> Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite is an upcoming smartphone by Xiaomi. The phone will come with a 6.26 inch touchscreen display. It is powered by an octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 processor and comes with 6GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite have a 12 megapixel primary camera with a 1.9 aperture and a second 5 megapixel camera with a 1.9 aperture. There is a 24 megapixel camera on the front for selfies. The Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite runs Mi UI based on Android and packs 128 GB of inbuilt storage. It is powered by a 3350 mAh battery which supports 18 watt fast charging. Redmi K20 smartphone was launched on 28th May 2019. The phone comes with a 6.39 inch touchscreen display with a resolution of 1080 by 2340 pixels and an aspect ratio of 19.5 by 9. Redmi K20 is powered by a 1.8 GHz octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 730 processor that features 6 cores clocked at 1.8 GHz and 2 cores clocked at 2.2 GHz. It comes with 6 GB of RAM. The Redmi K20 runs Android Pie and is powered by a 4000 mAh battery. The Redmi K20 supports proprietary fast charging. As far as the cameras are concerned, the Redmi K20 on the rear packs a 48MP primary cameras with an 1.75 aperture and a pixel size of 1.6 micron. The rear camera setup has autofocus, it sports a 20MP camera on the front for selfies. The Xiaomi Redmi K20 Pro comes in different colors like carbon black, flame red and glacier blue. Xiaomi Pocophone F1 is equipped with a 6.18 inches LCD display. The screen delivers full HD plus resolution. It is powered with Snapdragon 845 AIE octa-core processor along with 8GB of RAM. This phone has dual camera setup on the back. There is a primary 12 megapixel camera on the rear along with a 5 megapixel depth sensor. On the front there is a 20 megapixel selfie camera as well. This device runs Mi UI 10 based on Android 8.1 Oreo and packs 256 GB of internal storage which can be expanded via a microSD card. It is powered with 4000 mAh battery that supports quick charge 3.0 and 18W fast charging. <laughs>